Thank you very much, uh, <coughs> Chairman. And firstly, I'd like to thank uh, the UK government uh, for its support to my candidature, especially British Ambassador Karen Pearce and her delegation. I thank all member states who voted for me for their trust in me. I'd like to thank my fellow candidates for their fair and professional campaigns. We certainly gave you all some excitement. Having such a qualified and diverse field of candidates is testament to our commitment to the Union and bodes well for its future. I hope we can rely upon their continuing participation in ITU and, and I look forward to working with them over the next four years. I thank Secretary General Hamadoun Toure and the other elected officials that I've worked with over the last eight years for their continuous support and collaboration. It's been a privilege to have been part of Hamadoun Toure's management team over these eight years. I thank the excellent ITU staff who've always supported me and have shown their dedication to the work of the Union. And most of all, I thank my wonderful wife, Catherine, for her tireless support. <laughs> for her tireless support, wise counsel, and forbearance with the frequent absences from home on mission. I've enjoyed a, an excellent relationship with Hu Lin Zhao over the last eight years, and I promise to give him the same level of tremendous support that he's given to Hamadoun over the last eight years. <laughs> over the last four years, I've had the pleasure of an excellent relationship with Francois Ronsi and Brahima Sanu, and I look forward to continuing that with them over the next four years, as well as with the new TSB director. I'm sure we'll continue the success of the current team. Of course, we will miss our current leader, Hamadoun Toure, but I'm sure that his spirit and presence will always be with us. Thank you all again, and I look forward to working with all of you over the next four years. Thank you, Chairman.